This is going to be a very important video uh, in setting up Spooky Spooky 2 Boost, the boost cable uh, for positive offset. Now, just to show you, giving a demonstration with um, the remote device, you could tell if it's running positive offset or negative offset 100% by looking at these LED lights on the, um, the actual remote. So, for instance, if I take here, we take I'm just picking anything out. In other words, this is off a of hold to Clark. Now she said to use 100% positive offset. Now just to show you how to, the lights light up on a, on a remote with no offset, zero off percent offset, and this is on out one, we set, we click it on, we start it, and you notice, uh, if I bring this light down dimmer, both lights are lighting up equally. That's zero percent offset. Okay. Now I'm gonna stop it. This is actually this is um, just something that you really need to know because Holy Clark said to run 100 percent positive offset. If you run negative offset, you're actually helping the parasites. You're doing the exact opposite. Positive offset, according to her, uh, hurts the par, gets rid of the parasites and supercharges your immune system at the same time. So say for instance we run 100% positive offset. We put 100, the value 100 in there. We go to here, click it on, start, and you notice only one side is lit up. It's on that side, right? <laughs> okay, you can see which side it's on. Like if we're looking at the camera here, it's on the right side as we're looking at it, okay? Now, Stop it. Now we go and say, for instance, uh, we change it to 100% negative offset. Now this is actually important because uh, if you reverse the cables, I'm just going to cut right to the chase. If you reverse the cables on the boost, you can screw this. <laughs> you could screw this up, and I'm going to explain how the boost works again. But I say we go to negative offset. We click it on. And we look the left side as you're looking at a camera on your video is lighting up. That's at a hundred percent negative offset. That's what you don't want, right? Yeah, then we stop it. Now um just recall that because what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna hook up the um boost cable here. And here it is. Now, actually, I have it marked. I know that this white tape goes on out one, okay? So I'm putting it on out one. You know, of course, the it's off now. I got the generator off. And then the other one. So this one is on out one. And we're gonna hook the remote up to uh, this side here onto the, um, boost cable okay yeah, I guess it would be easier if I has let me just here so it's hooked up okay it's hooked up to the remote okay so it's two wires going into one now actually that's uh it's not a simple Y connection there's uh, a chip in there or something that it's a signal mixer actually and it boosts the power by four times actually but I'm going to show you like what you have to do the way to set this now is you put 100% on out one now you can actually do it either way depending on which way you flip the wires though that's what the whole big deal is you put minus 100 on out two so you did it this way you set up you click on you don't you normally you'd have this as follow out one you do inverse sync and you notice how this changes when I click on inverse sync. Look at the little graph. See how that changes? If I unclick it, follow out one, it follows out one. It actually does the opposite. So when you're putting minus 100% offset on out two, it's doing inverse sync. It's doing the opposite. It's actually making it 100% positive offset. So what you want to do is... Um, actually like Holder Clark said to go ahead and you want to use 100% positive offset with no negative offset so we have it set this way 
So we click this on, hit start. It's loading its waveforms because it's changed. And you can see it says 100% out one and minus 100% out two, but it's inverse sync. Now again, see? See how it's lit up? Actually, you can see the light's much brighter. It's on the right side of the screen, just as it was. That's positive offset. Now, I just want to show you something because this is where you can really screw it up. And I was like, whoa, this is a big deal because if you think you have it right and you... Let's change these wires around. I shut the machine off, right? Change the wires around. Yeah, get on there, baby. It's kind of hard to hold it. Probably should have. I do have a tripod, but now you notice the wire with the white tape is on it out too. Left the settings alone. I left the settings alone. Let's click it on. See what happens. Start. Nope. See what happened. It's actually going. It went to. A, it's actually putting out a hundred percent negative offset. How's that? How's that? By flipping the wires around, you got to know which wire is for out two and out one, and mark it as such. Now you can actually have the wires reversed like this, and I could say um, either way. I mean, it's it could work. I could say minus one hundred since I flipped the wires, and positive one hundred on out two. If I click it. Hit start. It's running 100% positive offset now. See that? Because it's on the right side. And <laughs> I'm going to tell you, you can easily make a big mistake with this because um, Holder Clark said to run 100% positive offset. Actually, she's not the only one to say this. But she says it's extremely important. If you run a negative offset, any negative offset, you're actually feeding the parasites. So you could think you have this set up right, and if you flip these wires around the wrong way, you're doing the opposite. It's not difficult. I mean, it's just like, you know, I mean, you know, say you're driving a car or something, you realize you don't turn the steering wheel and drive up on the sidewalk. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty simple, but um, you got to realize what's going on. So now I flip the wires around, I have negative, and, I, and watch, you know, now that I have it this way, the same way. I flip the wires around and you change back to negative offset. So normally, I personally, logically to me, is you know, you want to have 100% positive offset. You run an inverse sync, so you want to do the opposite to number two. So if you put minus 100 over here for negative offset, inverse sync is going to make that positive. And you want to mark the wire so that, say, this white tape means this goes to out one and the other one goes to out two. So when you click this on, it goes to 100% positive offset. Now, where this comes into big, big consideration is like Hold the Clark's frequencies are way up there. They're pretty, pretty high. And you really can't feel anything even at 20 volts. Uh, with even using like the handheld, say for instance, uh, you know, I, I can, I'm not going to take this off, but actually the handhelds, there's a wire that there's a wire that goes from here, it splits off, and it goes into the base here with the alligator clips, they go right in that hole. The alligator clip goes in that hole there, right? It's like this, you know, these little alligator clips will go right in that hole. So, when you're holding the handhelds at these really high frequencies, you don't even feel nothing. You know, so what happens is you could sit this, you can bring this up quite a bit at these high frequencies. You probably still won't feel anything. Maybe you'll feel a little bit. But what Spooky Boost does, it actually doesn't just double the voltage, it quadruples it. But at these very, very high frequencies, you still don't free to, uh, uh, feel it. But you would want to have checked off down here just in case you go to a low frequency. Reduce amplitude below 10,000 
hertz or 10 kilohertz. But all hertz frequencies are virtually all of them. I think all of them. All of them listed here. They're way over 10,000 uh, hertz or 10 kilohertz because you can see this is uh, that's a low. Well, it's I think uh, the one I chose cho chosen choose that <laughs> made a choice on was this one or something like that. It's uh, it's um, let's see what that was again. It's uh, actually 77,000 hertz. That's what that was. So you know it's. You know, you actually, when you're going up that high of a frequency, you could actually use a lot more voltage of Spooky Boost. But she says to use 100% positive offset. She's adamant about that. Now, I notice people say, uh, I'm not going to argue, you know, which one way or another about Hall Clark, but she's not the only one that says that. She's not the only one that says that. But it's very important that if you do not have this set up correctly, you can think you're running 100% positive offset, but you are running 100% negative offset, and you're actually doing the exact opposite of what you want to do. So I hope I explain this. If, you're, if it's the first time you're looking at this type of stuff in this video, you might want to look at some of the other spooky tube videos to see what's going on, because, uh, or I'll try to explain it. But, you know, this is, uh, this is a great device because... You can set it at 100% positive offset, and with this boost function, like if I put this at you know 20 volts or whatever the heck it is, and I'm using a handheld and I'm using a very high frequency, and I have reduced amplitude, reduced voltage below 10,000 um, uh, kilohertz or 10,000 hertz or 10 kilohertz, just in case. That would actually you, you get zapped for that. You feel a strong buzz. But, you know, at these high, high uh, hertz frequencies, you don't feel nothing. You might feel it a little bit if you turn it all the way up to like 20 or 15 and you use the Spooky Boost. But when you're using a Spooky Boost with Holder Clark and even some other things, it's, you know, it's been recommended by many people, not just Holder Clark, to use the positive offset when you're trying to, you know, attempting to knock out the parasites or whatever the heck they are and like hold the clark was adamant about using 100 percent positive offset and i realized if you flip these cables around you're you're doing a, you can absolutely do the opposite so make sure you mark which one you're going to have an out one and if i have that on that if that's going to be my out one the way i have it and you know i determined you know that this is the setting that works for 100% positive offset. Let me just put this on five for now or something, uh, or even three, because it actually quadruples it. And I click this on, you'll notice it is correct. It is correct. It is actually putting it out at 100% positive offset. I reverse these wires or put them on backwards, it's doing the exact opposite. So Highly, highly, highly important consideration because, again, I want to repeat it. You know, I know I'm repeating myself, but it's so important because Holda Clark says if you go ne use negative offset, according to her, you are actually feeding the parasites. You don't want to do that. <laughs> That's not what you want to do. So hopefully you just think this will be a very, very important video and uh, just uh, for people, the few people that actually use Spooky. For the, for the majority of people in the world are probably going to look at this and say, what the heck is this guy talking about? But anyway, it's, uh, you know, and actually, I can tell you, all this stuff is more, more experimental, theoretical. But Holda Clark did leave us with a lot of work, and Spooky 2 can run all her frequencies on 100% positive offset. You can get a lot of volts out of them. And you can run the upper high frequencies and use the handhelds. So... You know, if you believe in Helen Clark and you like her stuff, you can use that with Spooky 2 also. So it's pretty versatile.